Hi all, this is Caroline in the library, and I'm going to be taking you through the concept mapping process in this tutorial. Concept mapping is a helpful thought organization tool that will aid you in your research and writing process, and help you to focus your topic into something scalable for your environment. Choosing a topic is often the toughest part of doing any kind of research-based assignment. I'm going to show you the process I go through with students on how and why to focus a research topic. It always helps to have genuine interest in your research area, and I pick something close to the modern heart the effect of social media on people's behavior. In my first brainstorm, I just wanted to get my ideas out, so I wrote them on a piece of paper. It's a start, but I didn't feel like it brought me any closer to feeling organized or how I would pick the pieces apart to do research. Step two is to organize my thoughts into a concept map. Here's a blank concept map, like the one you'll start with. The big or major thematic idea goes in the middle bubble. And I usually start picking out four subtopic ideas from the concept and putting them in four smaller bubbles. You'll notice the arrows connecting the ideas can go both ways. It's hard to tease ideas apart for research or explanation without seeing that they affect each other and are often dependent on each other to make sense. When I organize my topic ideas into a concept map, this is what I got. I identified four major points as bullying, the link between Facebook and increased depression, anonymity, and disinhibition, meaning people being less inhibited about adapting to social niceties, norms, and being unable to resist the urge to participate in violence. Then I took the other stuff in my original brainstorm and connected them to the four larger points. As you can see, a lot of the ideas are interconnected between the four littler idea bubbles and pretty much all over the page. What I see when I look at this is that I have a lot of content for a six to eight minute speech, especially if I incorporate any handouts or media into my presentation. Once I really included everything I had been thinking about surrounding this idea, my map got kind of messy and out of control. I need to focus on one aspect of this larger idea to scale it into something I can adequately cover in my assignment. After I examined my concept map closer, I chose to focus on the subtopic of bullying, specifically the bullying that happens between teens that know each other on social media, because in looking at my original map, it seems that's what I was actually interested in. So I did another concept map where the main focus boils down to the teenage use of social media to aggressively bully their peers. And then I reformatted some of the bubbles from my original concept map to fit into these subtopics of my new topic idea. For example, I used two case studies of places where news with newsworthy social media bullying has taken place with teenagers. I didn't use everything from my previous concept map. I just used the bubble ideas that are relevant to my new, narrower, pared down research topic. I go from this to this during this process. And now I have a focused, semi-organized topic that is appropriate for the length of my speech and will aid me in doing research when I get into the place where I'm using databases and search engines. I hope that helps, and if you get stuck or have any questions, I'm available to talk about research ideas with you. See you soon!